Hello and welcome to Blended Agendas. Today I want to briefly touch on the situation about Jussie Smollett. He has been acting since the age of five, but is well known for his portrayal of Jamal Lyons on the TV series Empire. On January 29, 2019, Smollett stated while walking from a sandwich shop, he was attacked and verbally assaulted by two masked men that hurled racial and homophobic aspersions while pouring a liquid substance on him and tying a noose around his neck. This alleged incident took, a, took place a week after receiving a threatening letter to the Empire Studio where production is filmed. He is now arrested for fabricating the whole incident and is facing a prison sentence if he is convicted on felony criminal charges for falsifying a, a police report. Many celebrities and politicians stood be behind Smollett and spoke about the intolerance against violence, racial, and homophobic acts. Now, whether these charges of an attack or falsifying a police report by Smollett are true or not, we need to focus on the bigger issue. How many times has the media reported an alleged crime as real? Perhaps this incident will open a discussion on a rush to judgment from accusers playing on the insecurities of others. Situations like the Starbucks incident where two black men who were waiting for an acquaintance and had not ordered anything were arrested for refusing to leave. The white lady who called 911 when she saw a group of black men barbecuing at a park in Oakland. A white college student called the police on a black graduate student for taking a nap in a common room. And what about the past high-profile cases like Susan Smith, the mother who drowned her two children and covered it up by saying she was carjacked by a black man who drove off with her children in the car. And the famous Charles Stewart case that took place in Boston where he falsely accused a black man of shooting him and mortally wounding his pregnant wife. The police, the Boston Police Commissioner at that time was Francis Roach, ordered every available officer to the Mission Hill area where this alleged event took place. Anyone who fitted the description of the so-called perpetrator was driven and questioned at the police station, with some being intimidated to make false statements. It wasn't until Stewart's brother came forward with the truth after he fingered a black man for the crime stating his brother killed his wife for insurance money. This case deepened the already racial tension in Boston. It's easy to orchestrate an attack of this nature because it's controversial, and controversy is based on people's perceptions and insecurities. Now, many are crying out for a prison sentence for Justice Millett and taking away his livelihood. Do not use him to validate injustices or to push an agenda. If it's true that he orchestrated this incident, not only did he hurt himself, but he hurt the people who believed in him. And to lose respect from those who believe in you is sad. If you're going to sentence him to prison for falsifying police records, you need to send everyone else who also falsified police reports. This podcast is sponsored by The Coldest Water, home of the coldest water bottles, ice packs, pillows, and mattresses. The beverage holders will keep your beverage cold up to 36 hours. Please click on the link below to purchase. Thank you for listening to Blended Agendas. Please like, comment, and subscribe.